Bible. Praise the Lord. I am Dr. Andrews with Kingdom Success TV, welcoming you to our program. You are about to be blessed. I have a prophetic word for you for 2011, and I believe that God is going to administer to your spirit a word that is going to reposition you to reign and rule, and that the glory of God is going to take you from one degree of breakthrough to another level of breakthrough, from faith to faith, from glory to glory. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to follow with me in 2 Samuel chapter 4, and the word that came to me is Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. And in 2 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4, listen to this. Jonathan's uh, son of Saul had a son who was lame in both feet. Listen now. He was five years old when the news about Saul and Jonathan came from Jezreel. And his nurse picked him up and fled. But as she hurried... As she hurried to leave, he fell and became crippled. His name was Mephibosheth. Beloved, I want you to know, when this young man, he had his whole future ahead of him. This young man had everything going for him. He was the grandson and a young man who had a destiny ahead of him. Unfortunately, some bad news came forth. And the bad news was that this young man lost his parents his parent and his grandparent. And the nurse that was taking care of him ran to flee with him because she thought that he was going to be in danger. And as she was fleeing with him, she dropped him, beloved, and he fell and became crippled, in fact, in both feet. And the Lord then began to talk with me and say, Son, I want you to encourage my people. There are those that have started off in their destiny. You've started off with great excitement. You've started off with great enthusiasm. But somehow, somebody dropped you. Somehow, the person that you most trusted, the person in whom you may have confided in, the person that you expected to stand with you, dropped you in the midst of a trial that you were going through. Then I began to, to see some prophetic pictures. Because I said, Lord, what's going to happen? Because it's not your will for us to remain being dropped. I mean, some have dropped out of certain things because you have not felt the presence or the enthusiastic encouragement that you needed, you never got. And so basically, you, you, you kind of gave up and you became crippled because something in your life dropped you. And I want you to be so encouraged because I believe this word is not going to return void. It is going to accomplish that which God 
is sending it forth. This word is not going to return void, but it is going to accomplish the very purpose for which God has called this word to be released. You are going to be restored. But first, let us look at this. I just sense, you know, just talking to you, that there is somebody you were dropped in your marriage and you became crippled. You were dropped in your marriage and you became crippled in your emotions. And you have felt that the world around you has been hostile to you. But I've got good news for you because as I will continue with this little story straight from the Word of God, it is going to bring a new momentum to you. When I talk like this, I can hear uh, th there's a parent and you became so disappointed in your son. Your son got caught up with a wrong thing. It's actually drugs. And you don't know what to do. And God is saying to you that the covenant that the grandparents, that means your parents have made with God, is coming up as a remembrance before Him. And He is going to bring a total transformation. Now, listen to this. This young man, we read, and I want to just read again. This young man was dropped. He had a nurse that was taking care of him. Now, you may have had some security that have taken care of you and that security blanket was snatched out from underneath you or from your life. This nurse was taking care of this young man Mephibosheth and she was so caring towards him that she grabbed hold of him to flee when bad news was going about. I don't know about you, but there's a lot of bad news going about right now, both in a political realm, both in the financial realm, during this time of recession, but we are not to submit to the reports of this world. Because I believe God is saying to you, who, whose report are you going to believe? Are you going to believe the political report? Are you going to believe the report of recession? Of not having a job? Oh, just saying that, I, I heard that another person, your boss, dropped you just like that at a pin of a hat. You, you were just dropped just like that. And you were faithful on the job. You were so secure and faithful and you really served. But God says, I'm going to turn that thing out for my glory because I'm going to shift the atmosphere and I'm going to restructure a concept in which you are 